like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game. Hello, this is Brian Trusty. And it's been a long time since I've made a uh, video for my channel, but here I am making another video for my channel. Because, um, yeah, every once in a while, there comes a game that uh, really inspires you to make content for your channel, I guess I should say. And Cuphead is one of those games. As far as I've seen, anyway, I, this is actually a first impressions. I just got this game. We're going to check it out together. And then maybe you've played it before, or maybe not. But uh, thanks for watching the video either way. Cuphead is based on a 1930s cartoon style. Very Disney, very, as I said before, Mickey Mania-ish. Uh, Mickey Mania reminds me, uh, the, you know, the Steamboat Willie le uh, level from Mickey Mania. May have been a muse for the Cuphead uh, developers. I have no idea, but... Nonetheless, uh, enough said, and all such, let's get going. I'm playing this with a Steam controller because I'm playing this on the PC currently. And uh, let's just start. I'm not going to change anything. The Steam controller probably works fine. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. I like. Let's, let's go back. I like the little cup. Nice little painting, or I guess drawing of a cup. It's really nice. And the... The uh, crunchiness of the film, I guess. The uh, the dirtiness of the film. There's film grain all film graininess all over the place. It's fantastic. Man, it's been a while since I made a video for my channel, right? Here we are. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna make some more. How about that? Uh, subscribe and like if you want me to make more videos. And dislike and unsubscribe if you don't want me to make more. It's like Disney. Oh my goodness. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. <laughs> One day the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Look at that guy. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Apparently he's a he's a 1930s gangster in my mind. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Dear? <laughs> this is too much fun reading this. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil, while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as they loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered. Pulling out a parchment, I have here a list of my runway debtors. De debtors? <laughs> debtors. Collect the souls for me, and I might just pardon you two mugs. <laughs> Get it, mugs? I made a little pun. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You must, you have till midnight, I mean, tomorrow to collect every one of their souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Blah, 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 blah. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kelder. What did I say, Elder Kelder? He'll know what to do. Elder Kelder, what is that? 
Sounds like a song. So here we are on Cuphead. Hey, this is Brian Trusty. I know I said it once before, and I just I just totally went into the 1930s mode. Reading, uh, narrating, sorry about that. And you could, I, I'll, you should have skipped through that. If you didn't, then congratulations, you've made it through that. Uh, that was rough. This is a long loading, uh, scratchy loading screen here. But here we are. We're playing Cuphead, and we get to listen to the awesome... Uh, scratchy record sounds of the loading screen as well. Yeah, what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I think he's the guy from uh, Cheers. You know what I'm talking about, the, uh, the mailman. I know you don't want to... <laughs> I'm not going to read all this, come on. But it's a lot. You can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along. If not, you get suck ass. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your data friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. That's my kettle guy. That was terrible. In fact, I expect them to transform into terrible beast. Take this potion, so you don't won't. Yeah, well, what is it? So they won't hang you out to dry. <laughs> it will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You <laughs> need to prepare yourself. What a scrap! That's the uh, whistle of the kettle. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do the t t t tutorial. Press A for the tutorial. Bink! There we go. We're going on in here, and uh, wow, the uh, the graphics I just have to say are amazing. And this took up a really large uh, portion of the hard drive. I I know that doesn't sound right to today's standards, but for what it is, seems a lot. I guess a Flash game takes up nothing, and I feel like this could have been done in Flash, but hey, that's just me. Amazing nonetheless. Look at the, uh, oh, I pushed down to crouch. You're kidding me. Look at the animation. Whip, chop, whip, chop. This guy's always got like a milk, a little bit of milk, popping out of the top of his head there. Fantastic. Press A to jump. I can't believe it. Hold A to high jump. Tap it for sure. What? That's just crazy. Oh, we're going to do a little dash and we got some Sonic action here. Oh, uh-huh. So, got a dash. That's probably important to remember. Oh, yep, oh, whoop. Shinobi style, press down. Oh, can, I can't even get back up there. Anyway, so that's how you get down. That's cool. X to shoot. Oh! Look at him, he's snapping his fingers. That's phantasmic. Right? Okay. R, B to uh, hold. Eight way aiming. Oh! We've got a little, uh, what is this, like Gunstar? It's like Gunstar action. Oh, you want me to shoot it? Ah! And now it says, Perish Lab. Press jump while airborne to, no to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also veil just super media. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what the double jump is. Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. I see my meter down there. Let's check it out. Oh, it's not going to let me get up there. Let's. I don't have to do it like this. Uh, yeah. Oh, you don't kill that guy. Okay, let's see. Parry this guy. A well-timed parry on the ghost. Two-player mode only. Oh, I'm not in two-player mode. Let's just go. So, yeah, you parry the ghost, and you revive your dead pal. That's cool. Uh, an upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. Okay. 
coin is co oh let's try it out I guess uh, press B oh it's Hadoukens Hadouken and I ran out okay collect coins to purchase items from the shop Whoop. let's go in here and do what it says All right, long loading screen. And this probably is just my computer. I apologize. Let's talk about some things. So, how have you been? Um, well, I've been all right. I, oh, I get. Oh, I didn't let you answer. Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. Oh, and we're back to the game. Sorry, I couldn't listen to you. Um. Oh, okay. So, the, and we're just back to the game. Oops. Oh, I think I went into the tutorial. Again, so let's just, uh, holy crap, all these. Exit the map. <laughs> okay, so that, that was the end of that. It didn't show me the, the, ma the uh, what was it going to show me? Oh, the, uh, shop, I guess. But no, no, it wasn't going to because it didn't. Okay, so we're out here. Look at this. Look at this map. Holy moly, it just looks like an old cartoon, doesn't it? Fantastic. Nothing going on with the uh, mailbox. Can't walk down here, walk up here. And, you know, it's just obvious, I think. You just walk to the Apple guy, press A. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. You know how you play the game you dumb son of a bitch but now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures but hey let me give you a hand take this I'm gonna give you some of my money aren't you guys glad you tuned in today um, probably not nonetheless here we are cuphead oh there's the shop let's go Pork Rinds Emporium! Welcome to Pork Rinds Emporium! Let's see what's happening here. Hey! He's a pig. What did he say? That was freaky. Chaser, heart, spread, smoke bomb, roundabout, and that's about it. Let's see. Long range with below average damage. No aiming required! Ooh, that sounds nice. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Spread! Eight way, that's self explanatory. You will not take the damage during a dash. A great deal. A great defense maneuver. Oh, yeah, the dash. A great coverage with average damage aim backward fall. Maximum range. Interesting. Let's go with the, uh,. The Tracer, I guess? I don't know. Let's check it out. Oh, it changed. A Lobber. Medium range and good damage with a slower rate of fire. Let's go back. Because I have zero of those little 1930s animated coins. And as you can see, the Hourglass guy flipping around there says it's about time to get playing the game. In fact, he just does that over and over. In fact... <laughs> You got lots to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at those equip cards, you bums. That was my uh, my voice for him. It says press Y. Equi equip cards. Shot B, super, and charm. And shot A is a peat shooter. Chaser, long range with below average. Yeah, that's what I just bought. Let's go back. So I got two different shoots. Shoot, shoots. Shoots buttons now. Let's continue on. Oh, contract list. What is this? Okay, no idea. Let's go back. What is this? Uh, what? Let's go on this thing here. Okay, so you can't, you can't jump or anything. Let's go here. Forced Follies. Studio MDHR Corporation. Copyright 1930. 
That's when this was developed in front of a live studio audience. Run and gun. Let's go. And uh, another loading screen. Because in the 1930s, there were a lot of loading screens. If you kids didn't know. Oh, okay. Switch weapon. Switching the weapons here. This is the one that I purchased. This is the uh, original one here. Look at him snapping his fingers. I love it. What's this one supposed to do? Okay. Okay, here we go. It's like a... Looks like it's a little bit of a heat seeker. Whoa! Okay. All right. Oh! Righty. Oh, my God! Okay, so this game's not... Whoa! Whoa! That that thing came back to life! So this game's not um, a pushover, apparently, right off the bat. Let's switch the... What's this? I mean, I, get, I guess this one's better? Because I did buy this one. It's not even hurting that pink ball. Here we go. Oh my god, what was that? Ah! Whoa! There's another one. <laughs> it's like a flying acorn. Look at this. It's coming down at me. Oh! And I died right on the first level. There's That's how far I got? Okay, let's retry. I got pretty far. Let's go again. Now go. I'm going. But this is the original. Oh, I forgot that I could hold this down. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, switch weapons. And let's go. Ah! Uh, so, okay, how do I use this thing? This uh, double jump flippy deal. I haven't seen anything to use it on yet. I do like this uh, this gun though, because look at this one just shoots in a straight line. Well, I guess you can't shoot in eight directions. Though. Oh shit! Well, holy moly! Got to keep going here. Got to keep going. I need to switch to that one I was just talking about. It was better. Oh my god, that pink fluffy thing is getting me. Holy moly! Whoa, the acorn! This is the first level? Alright. Okay, so I have this dash thing. So last time I, I died. Oh, I died again! And not from the hole or the chasm or whatever. Let's retry it again. So this is the uh, first impressions video. Oh my god, let's switch to this. I've got to be better with this, right? Um, my god, the graphics are so hard to stop looking at. I'm not trying to blame that, but I'm gonna blame that. No, seriously, I suck at this game, but uh, this is a, my God, I hope I do. I hope people are making it further than this, but um, this is tough. But I do feel like I'm looking into that picture machine on Shining Time Station after popping in 25 cents. I'm not gonna lie. You know the one I'm talking about. Holy crap, holy. Um, you know, 1930s, oh my god, 1930s cartoons, I died again. Welcome to the Brian Trusty channel where he dies in the middle of the stage. Let's retry. I'm at least going to beat this stage here, people. I guess I could try this gun. Let's try, uh, oh boy, I'm scared. Let's just keep this gun. I... I'm close, right? I'm close to the end. I hope there's no boss at the end. That's all I'm going to say right now because I'm having a hard time making it through this beautifully animated uh, first level here. I do love it, though. I already love it. This is... I keep dying, and I keep want to... I keep dying, but I want to keep trying. Um... 
as that is what John Lovitz would apparently say. Uh, but yeah. Whoa, a little bit, just a little bit of platforming. Um, a lot of, holy shit! It's a lot of shooting, and I don't know if it's because of the film grain. But I'm having like, a, I'm having a hard time. I don't know, I'm having a hard time, um, I don't know, getting away from everything? Let's see. Oh, oh. oh, that thing doesn't hurt me? Okay, let's keep going. Explosions. Here I am again at this point. And these guys keep trying to kill me from above. Let's go. Shoo! I think this is as far as I made it now. Ah! No fucking way! No! <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Welcome to the 1930s video games. In the 1930s, you didn't know that video games were this hard. Um. Kudos to the developers on making a game that makes me want to continue to play. Uh, this is this is this, uh, this is fun. If I don't win this time, if I don't, oh, sorry. If I don't win this time, then I'm going to try to switch to the original pea shooter as they called it. I like that he snaps his fingers. It really does feel like a 1930s animated short. It really does. Uh, I have the feeling it's going to be a little longer than one of those cartoons. In fact, I think it already has been. Oops, I ran right into that. Hopefully that, uh, I can still get through the level. Oh, shit! There's two hit points lost. Oh, my God. Let's keep going here. I've got this. Oh! Like I said, I'm going to try the pea shooter now. Not even kidding. I know it should be a downgrade in, technically, but I keep forgetting about this holding down the button action where you can do this Gunstar type of a. Uh, I'm sure it's other games too, but I like Gunstar on the Sega Genesis. So I keep um, talking about that one. Um, oh shit, that's not good. I gotta get I gotta get through this first level at least, right? On the. Uh, on my video here. Regardless, I'm gonna keep playing this game. Oh no. Maybe the pea shooter is not the best way to go for for me. Probably need to pay a little bit more attention. I'm not a very patient person. And we're not giving up yet. We're gonna try at least one more time. Maybe three. Let's do this action. Cause I do a lot better with this thing. The uh, chaser, as it was called. It's like a heat seeking, uh, enemy seeking stars. Oh! I'm just gonna be super careful this run. But I'll let you know if I don't make it much further than this. This game is already awesome, and I'm, I'm enjoying it thusly, thoroughly, and what other. What else can I say? I don't know. A lot. Um. The art style is amazing. The controls are extremely tight, and it is it, it is my fault that I'm losing. I'm not very good at these type of games. I'm clenching a lot already, which is great for a lot of you people who like to get those feelings in their bowels while they're playing the video games. Let's keep going here. Whoa, okay. Like that, like, like that. Okay, let's, there's, oh my god, I almost ran right off the edge. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Ah, why? Well, I got this. I got this. I got this. I, ah. There's the, uh, what is that, an acorn thing? Holy moly. What is this? Hey, that's where they're coming from. It's the acorn maker. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan of his or hers. Or theirs. They may be gender fluid. 
Um, but they're making acorns, and I'm not a fan. Oh my god, these are like some Mario action. Holy shit. Um, oh my goodness. I've made it a little further this time, and oh, I need to stop talking. That's what it's all about. And I died. I died. I feel like I should try again. Look, I'm right there by the flag. What do you guys think? One mo go. Fo show. This forest is your foe. Let's let's try again. I, that was total, uh, totally unscripted, and just now thought of that. Let's go. Not impressed? Well, you shouldn't be, because it was stupid. Killing the flower people is the way that I do things. That's what those are. Those are like uh, dandelions or something. Daisies. Killing a lot of flowers. The mugs versus the flowers. Just nature in general, really. This is like killing uh, flowers, mushrooms. What is that thing? What's that little blue guy? All I know is he gets back up and tries to come after you again. Look at this. Those guys clearly um, that bite you from the from the oh my god these these acorns are the killer man in this level apparently um but yeah these guys from that try to bite you from the bottom remind me so much of something from a Mario game so I am doing a little bit better every time I play which is the point of these oh the point of these classic type of games you know they're hard they were hard back in the day when I was a young staff and they've gotten a little honestly a little too easy today it feels like you're just watching a movie and it's cool that you might feel like you're part of the movie but um, a lot of the fun came in the challenge of these old games oh no so I'm on my last hit point. Oh my god, and I died again. That's where I'm going to end it too. Right there by the end of the flag. And I'm going to tell you that this game, I'm going to keep playing. And it's a lot of fun. And as soon as I end this recording, I'm going to end it right here and tell you about my first impressions. I don't want to make this video too long. But I'm glad to have another video on my channel. This is Brian Trusty on the Brian Trusty channel on YouTube. With another video game video. And um, Cuphead. Awesome, super fun game. I think you should check it out. Especially if you like hard games. And, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Thanks for watching. This is Brian Trusty again. Click that little like button. If you dislike the video, click dislike and give me some comments. Either way, and uh, keep watching my channel if you enjoyed. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.